Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 6 of Dudley Zoo. Um, in this episode what we're going to be focusing on is um, creating and f getting as much done of the ruins as we possibly can in this episode. Unfortunately I don't finish all of it. I still need to finish the Undercroft area which is the section to the right closest to the gatehouse. Um, but we do kind of finish a majority majority of it, so um, I'm really pleased with how this is actually starting to look now. And you know, I'm trying to be as faithful as I can to the actual castle itself. So it took a little bit of working out and a lot of drawing and figuring out how things fit together. But I think I got there in the end. Um, still got plenty to do, including the the kind of back wall, the the curtain wall, and the undercroft, as I say. But so far, so good. So this episode will kind of, I suppose, feel a little bit samey because it will be me, me just moving rocks to create walls and stuff. But I wanted to kind of give you this episode because I didn't actually record the castle itself being built because I did that. I kind of built that way before I even had a channel. Um, it was something I was doing kind of on my own personally quite a while ago, and then I thought actually I want to continue Dudley Castle because um, I hadn't built anything with it for a while and I thought well why not do it as the first series on the channel so that's kind of where we started so we started the series with the castle already built so this episode allows you really to kind of see how we went about building it really because I use the same techniques and the same materials in the rest of the castles I do in the um, actual keep and the gatehouse so you'll get an idea of how it kind of came together. So as I was about to edit this video I noticed I actually made um, two mistakes and the first one was that I haven't given myself enough room to build the undercroft so that whole right hand corner section is actually too small to build what should be there so everything you're seeing being built in this video actually has to be moved ever so slightly to the left and then that will give me the room to build the undercroft section as it looks rather than just kind of squashing it in making it look really weird and I'd much rather move everything and, and do it justice than squash it in. So everything will look slightly different next episode. The second issue, which is kind of related to that, is I don't know how this happened, but instead of using one flat stone to create the surface of all the walls, I ended up using my stone sandwich. I don't really know what else to call it, but if you remember from a few episodes ago when we looked at the keep and the gatehouse, I showed you that I'd actually created this stone sandwich and it was two large um, flat stones and then in the middle was loads of smaller stones to give it that kind of um, crumbled wall um, bare masonry look so you could kind of see what you would see if you went to like a ruined castle and I'd, I'd ended up using that for some reason to build all of the walls and everything you're seeing in this video so when I actually went to try and move some of the structures um, before editing, like one wall had a piece count of something like four or five thousand pieces, so I couldn't move it. So what I'm going to do is off camera um, is um, basically rebuild everything. And what I'll, the way I'll do it is I'll, I'll probably build it with one stone as close to the what you see at the moment um, and build like an outer skin. So it'll be the same proportions. Everything will be in the same kind of place as it is now so it'll all look the same um, but with a lot less rock and a piece count that's more manageable and so I can move things around if I need to so I'll do all that off camera it's actually worked out quite well that I spotted these issues, these issues because if I'd left everything as you see at the end of the video and then started work on say like the seal and sea lion area in the next episode I would have to have demolished all that within an episode or two just to make space to do the undercroft justice so um, the plan now is to finish the whole castle section in the middle and then work our way out from there so um, in the next episode what we'll do is we'll finish the undercroft we will tidy up the ruins and, and get the whole area finished including the curtain wall and, and stuff like that in the section directly next to the undercroft itself on the left hand side there is a number of rooms in the ruins and these rooms are like education centre basically that was opened by the Queen no less in the 90s 
and in there there's like a room called like meet the ancestors and that's like the lords of Dudley there's another room where it's like Dudley for the years and it talks about um, when the fire gutted the living quarters and when parliament laid siege to it and destroyed the keep and all the kind of you know the fortification side of stuff and then there's a, a section called castle critters and that's all like spiders and insects and stuff like that so we'll build all that in the next episode and then we'll be ready then to start work on you know what you've come to watch really which is you know animal habitats and stuff like that so apologies if this episode and the next are a little bit samey um, and focus you know a lot on the castle but I think if we get that finished get that right we can then move on to all the animals around it then without having to worry too much I think that's enough of me waffling I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy the series if you are please let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear your feedback you know, I've had some really great comments already and you know thank you very much for that I really appreciate it any thoughts ideas suggestions you know you name it leave them in the comments and I will get back to you if um, you're enjoying this series why not check out the channel for other Planet Zoo content don't forget to like comment and subscribe it really helps the channel out and I will see you in the next one